This was scheduled to be the pre-match press conference for Rovers' cup game against Celtic, but events have overtaken that. We apologise uh, enormously for the distress that we've brought to our fans, our sponsors, uh, anyone that uh, we've hurt in any way at all. Uh, it was never our intention to, to do that. McGlynn described the signing of David Goodwillie as a collective decision discussed by him and the board. A lot of people at this club, be they volunteers, members of staff, a couple of board directors, have resigned in the last couple of weeks. Have you considered your own position at all, given everything? I've been here for the best part of nine years now, in two periods. I love the football club, I love working here. I've had to consider an awful lot over the last ten days. Uh, but. At the same time, I think there's an awful lot of good work being done here at Wraith Rovers Football Club and um, want to get the opportunity to, to right the wrongs. If I've made one mistake, I don't think I should be the one that's uh, hungry to dry it or fall guy. I, I want to get the opportunity to build the bridges. For Marie, who's been a lifelong fan and quit her job at the club's community foundation over the signing, today's apology is too little too late. The damage has been done. I mean, the reputational damage to Wraith Rovers is awful. If you Google Wraith Rovers now, this is the only story that will come up, and it will be that, like that for a long way. They can't backtrack. The, the, the current chair is still there, the current board are still in place, the current management are still in place, and as long as they're there, I don't see how they can suddenly ask for a clean slate and decide that everything's OK now. Once again today, Parliament heard calls for action to ensure professional footballers are role models, but the man who leads Wraith on the pitch was reluctant to engage in that discussion. I'm here talking about football and talking about the game on Sunday, which is a massive game for this club. I think most people watching this would know what they thought, though, if their boss said, oh, we're going to bring this new guy in, uh, he's a rapist. Surely, among the players... Some of you must have thought, we don't want this guy alongside us. I just said, that's not something for me to answer. Eh? There's obviously people have got their opinions. I'm oh, sorry. So it's not something that bothered you? I was captain of the club, I was concentrating on football games at that point in time. I wasn't asked anything, so it was just... You must have had your own thoughts about it, though, when you heard. As, as captain of the club, I was just concentrating on the football side of things. We are not bad people. You know, we are not bad people. I'm not a bad person, so I'm no, uh, you know, I just want that chance to, to make it right. That will likely prove easier said than done.